stipend in their teachings is the desire of the few pitted against the good of the many. Now, if you understand what I just said, you understand that these are communist socialists. They believe Typhon is the spirit of dissension and discord that breaks up unity of purpose by setting factions against each other so that great issues lose the name of action. The desire for riches, pomp, power, and, listen to this folks, sovereignty, by which this evil genius was obsessed, reveals the temptation by which humanity is deflected from its ultimate goal and led into the byways of sorrow and despair. Typhon, the Queen of Ethiopia, and the 72 conspirators represent the three destructive powers preserved to modern Freemasonry as the murderers of the master builder Hiram Abiff. So the ancient system of learning, which was the essential principle of united knowledge, was torn from its ancient sacred footing, cast down, destroyed, broken, scattered by the embodiment of three powers of darkness, powers that we call ignorance, superstition, and fear. It is the ignorance of the mass, the superstitions of false faith, and the fear of temporal power. These are the things that gradually corrupted and destroyed the great institutions of learning, martyred the teachers, crucified, poisoned, murdered, until the wonderful system of mystery initiation was no more, destroyed and corrupted, so that the temple was brought down like the house of the Philistines, and Samson, the sun god, died in the destruction of the house which he pulled down with his own hands. So the house of wisdom, when it fell, carried the symbol to darkness with it, but also resulted in the fall of the house of the Philistines. And the world that has mutilated the faith and the mysteries is now itself weakened, darkened, living in fear and doubt, living in moral and ethical uncertainty, wandering in a darkness, knowing not what direction to turn, still proud of its worldly wisdom, but afraid of darkness and afraid of its own sleep. Now, these three destructive powers preserved to the modern mystery school known as Freemasonry as the murderers of the master builder Hiram Abiff, who was really Jacques de Molay, are ignorance, superstition, and fear, what they call the destroyers of all good things. When you get even deeper into their teachings, you find out that ignorance, superstition, and fear stand for the state, the church, and the mob. And those are the things that they have sworn to destroy and substitute themselves as the ruler of the world in a benevolent despotism, a totalitarian socialist state. Because from the very beginning, these people have been pure, true, communist, socialists.